Hey everybody, so today we're going to play American McGee's Grimm. And we're going to specifically play episode 1, A Boy Learns What Fear Is. Uh, so the notes from the developers say, Once upon a time, fairy tales were valuable cautionary yarns filled with dire warnings and sage advice. However, over time, the story has become so watered down, cough Disney, with cute woodland creatures and happy endings that they've lost their true meaning and purpose. No more. This is American McGee's Grimm, and Happily Ever After ends now. Come on, Mr. Grimm, tell us a story! Story! Yay! Yeah, there's too much light. My blessed mess forsaken! These fairy tales are point out what I do believe to be irony, but you just complained about it being too cutesy with a very adorable little uh, cutesy intro with singing and rhyming. Um, yeah. Anyway, that was fun. Uh, let's check the instructions first, just in case. Okay, so I'm playing as Grimm. Everything around Grimm turns from light to dark. Use your powers to transform cute, happy fairy tales into bloody dark stories. Sweet. So, walk near things to darken them. Everything you darken raises your dark o meter. Raising your dark o meter to the next level will help raise your dark o meter to the next level to darken bigger and bigger things. Okay. Um, I used to play Katamari Damasi, where you had this like ball that was sticky, and as you rolled around, things would stick to it, make it bigger, and then bigger things would stick to it. This sounds exactly like that. Okay, WASD is for moving, Q and E for turning, spacebar for jump, mouse to run forward, jump. Okay, so you can do one or the other. If you're standing still, Grim will begin to pee. Aim the pee with the mouse, press jump to automatically go to wherever the pee lands. I, I'm really curious as to about when that will be a valuable gameplay element. Jump in the air to perform butt stomp. Butt stomp the goal to progress the next scene in the story. Happy people and fluffy creatures will clean. Ugh, how dare they. Butt and stomp near them to stun them or reach a high enough darker meter to darken them and stop them cleaning. That's all you need to know. Go fix the fairy tales. Yes, boss. Alright. So. Uh. Oop. I have no idea what I just clicked on. Light theater. A post-adolescent boy who doesn't know what fear is may be presumed uninformed of other basic emotions. He may be, in short, a dunce and not worth our notice. But here's an account of such ignorance that makes the boy out to be interesting and nearly clever, if lazy. Father, I've heard some talk of fear. Fear of God, of disease, and of death. Fear of the dark? A schoolmate said he was afraid of girls. What is this fear? The smithy is so tranquil and secure, I don't know myself. You'll have to leave home to learn what fear is. Some criminals are being hung at the gallows. You might learn about fear from them. We can't be surprised at the boy's loopy innocence, as the father seems less than a bright light. It's so unfair. Sure we roughed up a priest who deserved it. Insulted some nuns, banged a few heads for fun. But we never stole that stupid bell. It's worthless. We're not morons, are we? So you were unjustly convicted of theft? Is that fear? No, that's wrong. Now we'll die for something we didn't are do. Are you afraid of dying? Don't know yet. Being half dead isn't half bad. The boy gets no help from these mopes. He might as well have interviewed drying laundry. 
the boy stops by a schoolyard where he helps solve the crime. Look, here's the bell. It wasn't stolen after all. Those men were innocent. Never. They were certainly guilty of something and have met their just reward. As for the bell, it was purloined from my office and concealed in a sandbox to be retrieved at a later date with the intention of removing it from school premises for illicit purposes or profit or both. The malefactor must be punished. Who would steal a stupid bell? A mischievous, evil, unredeemable, dirty-minded pupil like you. That's who. And as I'm certain you won't confess, all students will share the blame. Get in line for a whipping. That's not fair. Besides, it's clear who touched the bell last. Him. That man is an adult. A teacher. You lying little savage. Get in line for a whipping. Look, the brass bell is tarnished and the green stuff has rubbed off on the teacher's hands. I confess, I always wanted a big brass bell of my very own to love and protect and fondle. I don't know why, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the search continues. His ignorance is unimproved. Can no one and nothing teach this boy what fear is? He takes a peculiar job with the local royal who can spend the entire night among these dreadful, ugly ghouls and ghosts. They will leave my castle and family forever. Many others have tried and failed, fearing for their lives. Stay the course, and you can marry my daughter. Will I learn what fear is? Guaranteed. Oh no, King. Even you in your majestic wisdom can err. I think we know where this is heading. Nothing frightens the boy. Or not so he'll admit it. Ah, another happy wedding. So this is the happy fairy tale we have to ruin. Is that what's going on? Now I think I know what fear is. A deafening sudden noise is shocking. Certainly. And when one evacuates one's bowels on being shocked, he may mistake the cause as fear. So the boy, to my mind, never did learn what fear was. Title's kind of a misnomer. But it has a more sensible outcome than the brother's tale, where the lad supposedly learns about fear by learning to shudder. His wife dumps cold water down his pants while he's sleeping. Where's the fun in that? Want to learn more about real fear? Play on. When a father, thick as a brick, sends his son away to learn about fear, we're right to be skeptical. What can he know about fear and where to find it? True, there's nothing scary close to home. Looks like a child's playpen. Let's fix that, shall we? Alright, I'm gonna point out that, that was a really long Make it smelly. Now I get to break things, yeah? Yeah? Let's yes. move! Alright, I'm here to break things. So, jumping button, turning button. Okay, so this is currently me playing with the keyboard. No, stop cleaning things, you bastard. No cleaning is allowed. And run! And we just get. Uh, you know what? Maybe I could. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna combine mouse and keyboard. Mouse for turning and checking direction, and keyboard for actively moving. Stomp it! That's not what you wanted me to stomp, but general stomping is fun. This is what I'm supposed to be stomping. Closer? Why? Uh. Oh, I'm not sure if I had to get closer or just stomp more harder. Okay. Ooh, I've made the chicken evil. Nice. Can't knock them out because they're not cleaning. That's okay. Just keep knocking these idiots out because they keep cleaning things. I've achieved stinky. Oh, it's up the top. Okay. And now, if we keep progressing along, aha! More space to make gross. Make it gross. Make it gross. Okay. So it's very important to knock out the cleaners before they do things. 
Not sure if that was going after. Okay, so every time I. Butt stomp it! So when you butt stomp, it does a like. Sorry, I'm gonna say this out loud. When you butt stomp, it, you get like an explosion <laughs> first. And it looks like. I'm just gonna look at this. If you change the. Um, change the scenery, so we've got like an evil fountain and that furnace that keeps attacking everyone and is burning them and making them stop cleaning essentially, which is great because I don't want them to clean things. They don't seem to make stuff dirty when they're bad, but they stop making it clean, which is pretty important to me. So, yes. <laughs> it's really satisfying ruining things. Come here, you. Haha. -ha. Oh, I'm dangerous enough to ruin them just by walking near them. Nice. Just wander around making stuff gross. No one can stop me. <laughs> this really appeals to, like, the part of me that just wants to be perfectionist. Gotta go right to the edges. Hang on, who cleaned that? I made that dirty before. No cleaning allowed. Okay, leave it that way. I made it gross for a reason. There will be no cleaning allowed. Yeah, when I used to play Katamari Damacy, I used to love going right to the edges to make things as gross as possible. Gross as possible? As big as possible. Didn't want to leave anything behind. You cleaning people, come here. None of that nonsense. Get all these cleaners. Right. There will be no cleaning done. I'm also going to take all these furnaces. Stop it! Aha! I kind of want to, like, sprint button. Ooh, did I just open... Yeah, I thought I opened this. Nope, but I can send a wave of gross away. We can do that, that's satisfying. Alright, let's go and take out this really disgustingly pretty looking fountain. It's fine now. Trouble, trouble, scream and burn! <laughs> jump over the danger stuff at top. Alright. Make sure there's none of these gross cleaning people kicking around. Ah, it's so satisfying making it all evil. Actually, this also reminds me of Dungeons. Dungeons 1 I never played. Dungeons 2 was great fun. Dungeons 3 mm, could have gone better. But they all had this same mechanic that like as you, the evil person, run around, it makes the world go evil around you. Great fun. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, not nice. Evil. Very evil. Much appreciated. Alright, let's go ruin some more stuff. Oh, there were secrets. I got none of them. Interesting. And of course it was timing me, but you know what? I was having fun, so no, 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 no. The new record of how dark I got was one star, so clearly there's a lot more that I could have done there. And I'm playing a free version. The boy spent a night <laughs> under the village gallows. Here's the story of a man who's being executed for a crime he didn't commit. Boo hoo! Where there's smoke, there's fire. Anyway, he's dead or nearly. Who cares? Where's the fear? Make, them afraid. Make it stinky. I don't know how stinky is. It's just Let's move. Come here, stinky child. What am I making stinky, this child? Okay, need to cover some territory first. Is there a cleaner? You're a cleaner. Come here, you. No cleaning allowed. It's just so that's a uh, I know I'm not gonna be able to get through there but basically by butt stomping it I can at least spread <laughs> butt stomp it 
Quick, get the child. Come here, child. <laughs> and quick. Don't delay, but stop away. All right. Okay, so the child hath enabled these, which means I can take a tour. A little quicker would be nice. Just pee on some things on the way around. Okay. There we go. What do we got now? Okay, so I just noticed the little thing in the corner that tells me where my goal is. Hello, area to make it gross. Make it rotten! Alright, so what they're saying when they say that is if you look at the top of the screen, there's a grossness meter. And basically, once you make it gross enough, you can go and turn the thing into being something evil. So we're gross and we need to get all the way up to rotten. Okay, so none of these guys seem to be becoming cleaners, so we're just... There's a cleaner. There will be no cleaning. Okay, we've made it to foul. I'm going to find a way to make these cleaners stop, because... In the other one you had a thing that would actually fight back on your behalf, basically. I can't see anything like that here. So we need to chase down the cleaners. On the upside, they do seem to group up, so... Kind of get a bunch of them together. Alright, is it gross enough? It's almost gross enough. Damn it, almost gross enough is not gross enough. Come here, you cleaning bastards. Don't delay, but there stomp we away! Now we're gross enough. Just... Oh, and now I'm dangerous enough to make them go away properly. Wondrous. I think I just murdered a whole bunch of people. And hangings for everyone. Yep. Ah! Soz guys. Welcome to death, I guess. Ah! I mean, this is more real. Woo! Than look at him twist! Like. Let's go! I'm tired of hanging out here. Yeah, so disney fied fairy tales are all like, oh, love and cuteness and sweet things. No, the, like, old fairy tales were so damned up. It was like, the boy exposed the teacher as a thief. Like, right, Who's so. afraid of a kleptomaniac or whatever he is? No one found fear here, did they? Let's put a scare into these people. Make it stinky. Stinky. I'm making a uh, child play space. <laughs> Let's they move! I would argue that the children should be on my side. Have you met children? They poop and they fart and they're just generally kind of gross. Huh. Immediately got all the teachers on side. I kind of thought that would have been harder. Okay. Is there no one cleaning here? I don't feel like anyone's trying to clean up after me. Oh, wait. Yep. Get the child. <laughs> run, idiots, run! Um, that child is a matchstick. Um, that... Okay. Chase down the matchstick again, I guess. We're gonna set fire to something. Oh, we're gonna burn the teacher at the stake. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's feeling like some pretty standard fairy tale nonsense right here. I gotta say, as much as I keep bad mouthing Disney here, because they don't do realistic fairy tales, I do love Disney. But it's important to note this is not how it works. Here, child. Oh, every child is gonna turn into a matchstick. Get the children. <laughs> here, child. Got enough matchsticks yet? Are there any more kids? Yeah, there are. <laughs> Here, children. Would you like to be a matchstick? You know you would. Alright, find me more children. Hmm. Oh, there's some. They're up there. I wonder how many I need. 
Probably a lot. Oh, there's another one. Come back here, small child. Right. Any more? Oh god, there's a whole batch of them. The filthy man is coming. Hey now! Here, children. There's another one. And one over there. It's a lot of children. I'm glad that it's put a big sign on them to say where they are, because otherwise I would get real annoyed about trying to chase them down. Oh, I've got 19 out of 20. I just saw it at the bottom. Okay. Now I've got to get back up the top to find another kid. Do, 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 do. Come here, child. I hear you screaming. Mwahaha. <laughs> what does this have to do with learning about fear? Yes, the teacher is punished for his crime, but really, you call that punishment? Let's make him cry. Make That's... it nasty. Isn't it already? It's pretty much already nasty. We're basically there already. Just gotta kinda get a last couple of patches of niceness. But yeah. stomp it! Set him on fire. I'm a good person, I swear. Maybe. I'm not a bad person anyway. <laughs> burn, baby! Burn! Punishment at its finest. Are we frightened yet? More stuff? More things to bring. Right. Of course, new records everywhere. I gotta figure out what these secrets are, though, because I haven't found one yet. Still looking for fear in all the wrong places? The boy watches as the thief is given a proper burial. But wait! This doesn't look like a burial! More like a wedding! I hate weddings! Let's render it funereal. Or better? Or worse. Make it stinky. Let's move! Right. What are we grossing up this time? Bad cute animals. Stop making things nice. It's not what we came here for. Hmm. Not powerful enough to do anything useful yet. Not converting anything onto my side. Come here, cute little. Stomp it! Some birds not gonna be cute for long. Dear, that sounded really unfriendly. I feel slightly guilty about how bad that sounded. Hmm. Can't make them bad yet. Alright. We'll just go get the birds then. First we'll deal with the birds, then we'll come back and deal with these cleaners. Because I don't actually need an area made grocer. I need to... Grim's foul! Now make it stinky! Alright, stinky birds. <laughs> Where's another batch of them? Platforming time! Oops, did not mean to do that. <laughs> Press the jump button while I was still in the air. Oh, they've all been gathering up here. And now I've come to make it worse. Oh, I'm not nasty yet. This is problematic. I'm not nasty enough. Hold up, we're gonna go get rid of some nice things. 
just come back down here. Where are those cleaning people? Because they're clearly Stop it good. Stop it. Bad cleaning people. Stop that. Alright. Okay. The only problem now is I have to go the long way to get back up there. Everybody made it all clean while I was away. How dare they. This offends me. Um, clean, sparkly, shininess. How rude. Oop, oop, got stuck. Still getting stuck. And boom. This child is brave. Wait, wait, don't open me. Why are you attacking me? I'm your evil friend. That was really high pitched screeching. I was not super thrilled with that just then. Finally, it seems the boy really does want to find fear. The king's castle is haunted, a fearsome and awful place. If the boy can stay there the entire night, he'll purge the place of fiends and marry the princess. Yes. Can we make sure he fails, please? Absolutely. Make it stinky. Let's move! No cleaning. I dislike it when people clean things. <laughs> I made the king evil immediately. Nice. Excuse me, cleaners. I hear you. I don't agree with your existence. Bad cleaning, man. No cleaning. Hmm, Stinky is actually kind of far away in this one. Have to keep an eye on those cleaners. Stop ruining things, cleaners. can smack both of these buildings. Yeah, I thought that might be worth a fair bit. I hear you cleaning again. Stop it. There we but go. Stomp it! Gotcha. The start of a level is, again, this is so Katamari Damacy. The start of a level is always a bit pesky when you're just trying to get to a point where you can kill things. The boy agrees to spend the night in the haunted castle. Courageous, lucky, or idiotic? idiotic? You be the judge. Let's make sure he learns what fear really is. Oh my god, those cats when they go nasty. Evil, like they're creepy already, right? Right now they're making things good, which is a lie. What kind of cat makes things good? Have you met cats? I have one. Trust me, they're not evil. They're not evil. They are the definition of evil. Like, I, I call my cat Satan all the time. And it's a fair statement, personally. Stop making things nice, cats. Grim foul now. What? Why are there dogs? Are those extra problems? Bad dogs. Come here, problems. Stop making things clean. Oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, butt stomping is essential because it like sends you out a lovely wave of gross. Yes! Alright, now the dogs get evil. Yeah, evil doggy doggies. Butt stomp it! Alright. You hear the dogs in the background? It's like literal angry fire breathing dogs. 
Have we scared the child yet? Oop, I don't know if you guys saw that flip, but I did. Ah, every time I butt stomp, I'm uh, making more, more of the ceiling fall down, essentially. She's letting me run around on the lava. Why are there so much lava? Can we just think about for a second, why would there be so much lava in the world? Can I pee over? Yes, I can. <laughs> Ready? Go for the dogs. Oh my god, I just launched them into lava. Why would I do that? Talk about scary. I almost went this hell. I can't believe he survived the night. And the kids are like, oh, missing his clothes. Oh, well, they're all made of brass. <laughs> I'm so glad it didn't make me platform across those skeletons, because I would not have been able to do that. Well, he conquered the oh-so-scary haunted castle. Heh. <laughs> and of course, now there has to be a stinking wedding. Let's finish Bloody this before my gorge rises any higher. Make it stinky. Yes, boss. Oh my god, I make it stinky cannons. Let's move! Stinky cannons. Get the child. Gross. Children. Ew. Can't have any of those. Looks like I can get the uh, surroundings on side, making little flames go up. Just got to keep the children from doing anything. Bloody children! But stumping. I also like the part that as you like level up and get stronger you can do more things to the environment. Like those planter boxes I couldn't get the first time around. But now I can. Yeah, I can get the trees and the planter boxes now. Right, I'm just gonna stop this child really. So basically stinky enough. Bloody kids just keep coming along and making it clean. Honestly, that's unrealistic. Children but clean. stomp it! That would never happen. You know it wouldn't. Right. Evil children. That's more realistic. That's better. <laughs> the kid just said, oh no, I'm yucky. <laughs> making it gross. Stumpy, 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 gross. Alright, last one. Oh, the cannons are alive. Oh no, the cannons are alive. I don't know if I like the music or if it's just gonna get so repetitive that it's gonna be in my head all day. Like, I'm enjoying it now. But how am I gonna feel about that? Make it four hours time? rotten. Oh, I'm still. Do, 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 do. Yeah, if I'm still doing this in four hours, probably won't be happy. It's funny now. Dancing people. Ew. Gross. Oh, yes. Cannon murder. Alright. So if I take over these cannons, they're going to stop the dancing people. <laughs> oh, so much evil. So much fun. Excuse me. No. There will be no dancing. Whole new level of gross. <laughs> Except those people still exist. Stop existing. How dare you? Do I need to like line them up and shoot them with the cannons? No, because I've already shot everyone that I can. Disappointing. I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to shoot some more people. Hmm. I'm not gross enough to take you out yet. Okay, I just need to get all the gross. The 
fact that I can't stop the people from cleaning irritates me. Bad people. Like... Don't stop it! it! They were a little pesky to try and keep up on. You make you want to die. Jeez, so morbid. Get the cleaners. I hate the cleaners. They rage me. Alright, where's that other cleaning bastard? There will be no cleaning. Yeah, in a sec, I gotta get the cleaners. Right. All cleaners have been removed. No wedding! Ew, your bride is ugly. Oh, has he learnt fear yet? Ooh, more stuff to Make destroy. it! Nasty. Hit him with a cannon. He's not afraid enough. Even though I was... Hang on, wait. I need to just pee on the kid for a second. I don't know why that's a mechanic. I'm, I'm not complaining. I just don't understand why they would have bothered to include that. But sure, why not? Make it gross. Make it gross. Blood stomp it! Yeah, I didn't feel like I was going to have to work very hard to get that last layer of gross. I'm just... I've yet to see any secrets or anything that even looks vile. Mildly secretive. Like... Everything's pretty big and obvious. I'm going to have to come back later and figure out what these secrets are. Because... nothing secretive. Boom. Hit it with a cannon. Jesus. But, uh... Whoops! Now he knows what fear is. At least fear of death. Nothing like a wedding where the bouquet explodes. <laughs> Here's to the bitter end. <laughs> this game is so childish. I'm enjoying it. Stupidly childish, though. All right. Here we go, the story again, the better. Despite the title, we've seen that the boy was very well acquainted with fear. His pretended ignorance was youthful bravado and an effective ruse, an excuse to leave home and the unwanted supervision of his father. Father, why does everything frighten you? Are you a coward? Your questions like you are ignorant and worthless. Only arrogant fools do not fear the unknown. I fear God and the devil. Likewise, a sudden rise in the price of pig iron and the cost of bread. I fear for the king's health. My fear of siring a useless son is now proven. And since you don't fear my good opinion, leave this place! Fine. I'll find out what is truly worthy of fear. This scene might strike fear in anything more sentient than a turkey vulture. Masses of humans dangling to death like discarded, rotted fruit. The bell-thieving teacher deserved a whipping. That punishment fits the crime, but the crowd demanded more. Kill him, burn him, teach him a lesson. That thief must pay for his life. He touched the precious most on a bell. What's next? The chalk? Kill him! Kill him, burn him. Indeed, people, indeed. Fear the lightest hand of justice. It will be served. <laughs> burn, baby, burn! This game is like that's childish. But you its wouldn't finest. let a child play it, How ever. God, I hope If you stay here all night, you will exorcise this castle of its ghosts and ghouls. As compensation, you will marry my daughter. But if you leave before dawn, you will die an excruciating death. I will supervise the execution. <laughs> this finally makes some sense. The boy never volunteered to rid the castle of its demons. He was Shanghai! We have ten children. <clears throat> and I'll eat chocolate and honey all day. <clears throat> I hope you're not afraid of a little work. <gasps> oh no. I'm very afraid of something else. 
<laughs> oh, joy and bridal. <gasps> to be in love. She <clears throat> is creepy. Why does this feel like fear? Uh oh, the groom needs a fresh set of drawers, and the bride could use some smelling salts. In the end, you'll excuse my expression, note that the boy learned that fear has at least one thing in common with simple surprise. Both can make you miss your pants unexpectedly! <laughs> May all our stories end so well. <laughs> Until next time. Oh dear. So, um, yep, that is a, uh, that's the free entry to this series, so you can go pick it up on Steam for nothing, it's literally, you can download this as a have a go free trial. Um, yep, it's, look, I found it satisfying to play, and I would definitely play it again. Like, it's the sort of thing that you want to play late on a Friday night when you're kind of too tired to do anything intelligent but you don't want to go to bed yet. This is the kind of stupid thing you'd want to play. It was really satisfying. It was the same level of satisfying as Katamari Damacy where you start out, like, afraid of the people because they can kick your little ball and then you get bigger and you come back and you're like, roll them over and you're like, da, suffer, ma. But I do need to say... As much as it was stupidly great fun, I'm not sure if I'm going to pay for it, because it kind of felt like that was it. It kind of didn't grow over the time that I was playing it, and it was stupidly fun to play, and I will play it again three or four times, but I, I don't know why I would buy it if it's just going to be more of the same. Maybe there's more, and maybe it's different, but it hasn't convinced me of that just yet. Like, it's got child humour, but there's no way you'd let a child near the game. It's, it's very dark, as it, sa as it says it is. Anyway, I had a great time. 8 out of 10 for the demo? Yeah, maybe? I, I would definitely rank it higher if it felt like it was going to grow. Like, I feel like there's so much potential for more, but I feel like they didn't make me feel like that was actually coming. It felt like they introduced all the mechanics and then they're like, yep, cool. Platforming, butt stomping, stupid cleaning things. Full stop. And I didn't want that full stop. I wanted that like, there will be more if you play longer. Anyway, it's on Steam. Pick it up. Give it a go. It was fun. Bye, guys.